There are two ways to take attendance through GradeQuick. Once within my gradebook, I'm going to go up to the Attendance tab, and I'm able to edit my attendance for a particular date. From this area, I can go down my rows by students and across my columns by date. So for today, June 7th, none of my students have anything filled in. What this means is that it automatically defaults to present. But when I hit the drop down, I do have several codes that um, are automatically generated through the GradeQuick system. So I have tardy, unexcused, tardy, excused, absent, um, maybe they were out for music or band, or they went to the nurse, a school activity or field trip, guidance, at the office, suspension, vacation, and then other. Now that's a lot of attendance codes to remember, so if you ever needed to have a reminder as to what those codes actually meant, you can go to File, Edit Codes, and then there are all of the codes. If you needed to add add them, um, you can also add codes there as well. But typically speaking, the ones that are already present are the ones that you would um, need. So I can go right in here and maybe um, the student was absent and the student was tardy, but she had a note and then maybe this student was on um, a field trip. So then um, I can easily uh, scan down and look. Now also notice what I've done is I have um, added in uh, the ability to view the entire term, all of the absences and all of the tardies um, per particular student. And to view that, what I did was I went to View and Options and then um, I can go to my subtotals and look at my current ter term to current term totals and then I'm looking at um, class absences and tardies and notice that then that provides those columns or those rows there and then across the column it is recording for um, the entire term. Now um, I typically when I was in the classroom would utilize this feature if I was going back and editing my attendance. Um, if I was doing my attendance on the fly while my students were actually in class sitting in front of me, I always liked to use the seating chart feature and be able to um, edit the attendance through the seating chart. So to do that, I would go to my seating chart tab and here's my seating chart for my current term and I would go up to my modes and edit attendance and then it's going to ask me what date do you want to edit the attendance for and if I go to today notice what's already happened is um, based on the chart that we just filled out a couple of seconds ago it's already created my attendance for today on my seating chart so if I want to go back and change the date so that you can see this from the beginning, let's just say I wanted to take my attendance for yesterday. And so what I can do is right click over a student. Here are all of my um, attendance codes. And another reason that I like this a little bit better is not only I can do this while my kids are sitting in front of me and I can visually see them in comparison to my seating chart, but I also have all of my attendance codes easily visible for me here. So maybe she went to the nurse and um, I know he was at band and maybe this student um, had gone um, for some type of sporting event um, and the bus left early before school ended and so that student missed my class for um, the sports. So then I can see right from here my color codes and I would get used to the color coding but also it has um, the designation for the attendance code right here in the bottom right corner. Um, when I'm finished editing all I would do is go back up to modes, edit attendance and uncheck it and now I'm back to my default seating chart. And I can close that out and my attendance is complete. And just to verify that, just so that you can see that it works both ways, if I go back into attendance, notice we just did June 6th on the actual seating chart and we did June 7th through the attendance chart. Um, so you can see the two ways to do that.